Welcome back, Stasa23 here, back again with some knife therapy, and before I get started, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, if you hate it, give it a big thumbs down, either way I'm good, if you're not already, subscribe to this channel and you enjoy knife content, definitely think about subscribing. Today, we are going. I'm going to give you a list of um, some knife modification places that uh, offer spare, like aftermarket scales, clips screws and stuff like that uh, and these are just companies that i bought from and that seem to do a really good job and uh, i know i like to know what companies are out there extra companies when i'm looking for certain things for a certain knife so if there's a company that you bought from and you like their work and they did a good job and they were they good communication stuff and you're satisfied leave them down in the comments and uh, I'm always looking for new places to try out so let's get started we'll start out with somebody that I found on Instagram and he makes scales for Emerson's uh, some less George designs some ZTs and some hinders and his name on Instagram is blades underscore in underscore such I'll try to leave a link to all these people down below if I get a chance. I should be able to. And here's the scales I got made for me. This is my Carta. He asked the finish. I wanted a rougher finish on there. He can also do a polished finish if you'd like, you know, to get it, the my Carta to pop. He does really, really good work. And he was very um, responsive whenever I asked him questions. So there's the first one. I don't, I don't know if he has like a site or anything for, for what I gather. He um, does it off of Instagram. He's also a part of the USN. So definitely somebody you can trust. Seems like a really good guy. This is the small uh, commander. There you go. Uh, the next company is, is one that I've bought several scales from. And that is Sharp Dress Knives. They do an excellent job. I have two samples to show y'all. I have uh, some, <laughs> some black scales. So I think there are some camo micarta scales that I put on this Spyderco smock. And they do some very quality work. Kind of looks like maybe it's done by a CNC or a mill, one of the two does an awesome job and another beauty is these uh marble carbon fiber scales i think that's what it was called on the site for this modified power three that i got done with the transparent knives regrind on there excellent excellent job so that is sharp dress knives on instagram i think they might have a website as well all right the next one is Alan Putman, and on Instagram he goes by Blade Scales, and I got these um, OD Green Canvas Micarta Scales. Some one of his signatures is he uses the the small Anzo pattern on a lot of his. Uh, I don't know all of them, but I know majority. Started out making aluminum scales for some bench maids. And now he makes some micarta and G10 as well. It's another transparent knives regrind, but um, he he does quality work. These are a little thin for the the uh, bug out, but micarta is not a great standalone material. Um, he does work on like Benchmade Spyderco ZTs. And he may do others. That's that's what I recall. <clears throat> All right. The next one is a highly uh, popular person, and that is Casey Lynch of Lynch Northwest. He makes pocket clips for tons of knives. But let's see. I got a bunch. Here's one from a Spyderco Para 3 that he made to where it doesn't cover up the lanyard hole by making this divot right here. It's got my anno on it. I did an orange peel with an anno. This is an old one that I did. You guys, that. This is a wire clip replacement. 
that he did for the spider codes, but uh, I, I modified it to fit my um, quiet carry waypoint. But there's one. And also, this is one that I didn't modify. This is how it comes. And this is on the uh, Summit Knife Company Half Dome. Um, and he also makes pry bars. This is one of his pry bars. They usually sell really quick. This is the Lynch Northwest All Access Pass. There's his logo right there, the leaf. And these things sell out so quick. Pretty handy tool, especially for in my shop. Let's see, here's another Lynch clip right there on the Power 2. And <clears throat> let's see, is this another? Nope. So there's my Lynch clips. Lynch, do, he does amazing, uh, he, amazing craftsmanship on his work. <clears throat> I like it a lot. Um, let's see, the next is Flytanium. Now, Flytanium is more uh, budget scales, um, at least in my experience. I've had some that didn't work that good, some that worked better than others. Um, here's one example on this uh, mini bug out. Now, this one is, this one's pretty high quality because everything was done right. Still got good action on it, perfectly centered. And another thing that I liked about this is he skeletonized, they skeletonize the inside of that. So, uh, like I said, you're getting a budget scale. They offer titanium scales for tons of different knives. They offer some copper, brass, carbon fiber on a lot of Benchmade models, Spydercos, um, some Ger a Gerb, the Gerber flat iron, the rat models. You name they they got a lot of them, and they also offer titanium hardware. Um, I think they might offer a titanium thumb stud for the bug outs. I'm not 100% sure, but you can definitely check out their site. Just just know that um, they may not. I don't know. You know, I, I've had I've had I'd say 90% good um, luck with the scales. Like I said, I, I think one of the scales that didn't work out that good was a, a titanium bug out scale but it the bug out it could it could be uh, CRKT's fault because they seem to have used several manufacturers so that might have been the issue they might have had uh, the one that they did their their drawings on might have been a different model from I mean from a different manufacturer so I, I don't know there um, all right, another excellent uh, clip maker is MXG Gear. I got tons of their clips. That's, uh, you know, the, the mini spoon type clip. His are like this, this deep circle. Let's see, that's, there's the difference. Well, let's see. Where's my, this is a power three. This is a, a Para 3 clip and see how it kind of covers the the lanyard hole I'm not a lanyard person so I didn't really care it's I find it's a lot easier to get these he keeps them in stock and they don't fly off the shelves as fast as the Lynch clips I like both clips they work great got tons of here's one on my uh, my Carta shaman and crew wear uh, this one worked out perfect it looked like it went with the with, with the knife, this is on the Spyderco Swayback. This is the MXG gear clip. I like this clip a lot. It works well. It's got good retention. This one was an awesome one too uh, for the Spyderco Southern. Excellent job there. And another one that worked wonders for me is the Spider. I mean the Strider PT Deep Carry Pocket Clip. Um, it's hard. I wear lightweight clothing a lot, so it's hard for me to get the Spyderco clips in and out of the pocket. So this one works great. Now you do have to tighten it up, you know, about as tight as you can get it because it doesn't have that little uh, that little piece that falls in the hole to keep it from going left to right. So, I mean, mine's tight. It doesn't rotate. Um, and I put some Loctite on there. And also he makes them for... Uh, the SNG as well. I mean, they fit on all of them. It's 
So yeah, this is the new model S and G and the new model PT. And that was perfect for me. It sits a little higher on the PT and it's pretty flush on the S and G. So there's all my my uh, MXG gear clips. Like I said, definitely highly recommend them too. I mean they a lot of people have <laughs> enjoyed their clips. And he also has some some other parts to some hardware for certain knives and stuff like that. All right, uh, the next one is Rips Garage Tech. They do some scales for a lot of knives, um, and they do some clips. Let's see, where's my Rips? This is some micarta, some orange micarta scales that I got for the Para 2. Uh, let's see, what else? Here's a sweet pot wire clip, wire clip replacement for um, you know fits on the spider codes. I love this clip. It's it's perfect amount of retention, especially for a milled clip. He did an excellent job on this. I will be buying some more of these. Um, I love the wire clip, but sometimes where the wire clip sits, it just it bugs my hand. And this one was a perfect fit. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do some mano to it or not. And let's see, I think, I'm pretty sure these scales came from Rips Garage Tech. This is a linen bone micarta. I'm pretty sure I, I got it off of Blade HQ, but if somebody knows, if, if somebody, if that's not right, somebody knows, correct me down in the comments. So there you go. There's my Rips Garage Tech stuff. Definitely go check them out. They do, they do a good job. Alrighty, um, the next one does uh, impeccable work. He, he, I think he started out with the Benchmade bug out, and now he does a lot of Benchmade stuff and some Spyderco stuff, and his titanium work is amazing. And that is Rock Scale Designs. I totally overhauled this uh, Benchmade bailout. This one was the aluminum scales. Swapped it for these uh, titanium scales with the pommel delete. That was the big thing I didn't like about it. He also had uh, titanium hardware, as you can see. He added this little milling thing, and he, he does a lot of internal milling. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. Yeah, you can see the internal milling down there. So it keeps the weight light, and then uh, deleting that that pommel i added a titanium backspacer and i like i just like the the gray look to it he, he offers several different variations this is a blasted finish i think this is a aluminum oxide blast it's got some nice texture to it but he also offers an anodizations and stuff like that highly uh, his fit and finish is is amazing Excellent work. I definitely recommend Rock Scale Design. Super nice to work with. Very responsive on Instagram. Got back to me immediately when I had a question for him. And uh, I'll definitely be doing more business with Rock Scale Design. All right. <laughs> Another one is a, is a good uh, scale maker. I'm always looking for certain scales, for certain knives, and especially. When I bought my Hinderer XM18 3-inch non-flipper, I wanted a set of micarta scales, and this is his handiwork. He does very, very good work. Everything fits where it's supposed to. No uh, gaps. You know, if something's not lining up, it's probably because I didn't line it up properly, but excellent this is linen micarta green linen micarta i absolutely love it now i think it just made this knife just over the moon for me and he also made these micarta scales for uh this is some green i think or camo micarta scales canvas for this spider coat southern and i thought i got i got another scale made by him somewhere but i can't can't seem to locate it but quality work that's rc rc underscore blade works like i said i'll try to list all this down in the comment section just in case you can't understand or you missed it 
Oh, and another fly. I, I missed this fly titanium scale. This is one that I did my anno work to. It's kind of dirty right now. This is for the regular Pilar. No internal milling, but there you go. The lights are terrible in here. But love that. All right. Let's move on. <laughs> Here's a, a guy that I know he makes uh, custom clips out of, like Timascus, Black Timascus, Mocha Tie, and stuff like that. Um, for striders and I think some other knives, but I bought this. His name is Brian H. Customs on Instagram, and here is a black tie maskus pocket clip that I bought for my Strider S and G. Fits perfect. He does have that little tab that I was talking about. That tab that goes into that hole to keep it stable left to right, kind of like having two screws. Um, it's hard to show. But excellent quality on there. Um, got a good bit of retention. It does sit up a little bit higher than I like. It does kind of catch me a little bit. But very good looking clip. Um, somebody, <laughs> I can't seem to locate. I have some stuff from them, some hardware. But it's blades we love. They do hardware, clips, a lot of anodization work. Um... I don't think they do any scales, but I could be wrong, but definitely go check them out. Blades we love. Um, another <laughs> um, modder place is Way of Knife. That is Way, W-A-Y of Knife. And uh, they're also selling knives as well now. And they offer tons of modification services. Um, they have an, an, uh, a laser engraver that they can do almost any pattern to, kind of like blades we love to. They do any pattern you want on the blades. You can do a, a faux Damascus, tons of cool stuff. But that's all the, let me think, I think that's all the company. Oh, yeah, one more uh, knife scale place is caveman underscore knife underscore scales. Uh, I bought scales from them. They do They do a good job as well. But... That's all the ones that I have currently bought stuff from. Um, if there is one that you have bought from and you enjoyed your experience and they make quality stuff, uh, leave it down in the comment section so you know people can learn about them and people can try out their, um, <clears throat> their work. I'm always looking for somebody. Like right now... I'm looking for a micarta scale for this Techno 2, and I can't seem to find anybody that makes them. I think Rip's Garage Tech made some a long time ago, from what I was told, but I don't. They don't have any any more. So if anybody knows somebody who makes micarta scales, try to keep. You know, they like they have a, they have another guy that makes amazing scales, like some of the the coolest looking scales I've ever seen. It's Aramis on Instagram and he has a chat uh, uh, he sells on eBay as well but I don't own a, I don't own any of his scales they're a little expensive because he is not in the United States so you're paying for the scales plus uh, like fifteen dollars I think to ship them on eBay so uh, I don't know but like I said y'all y'all let's talk about it in the comment section so we can get you know some more ideas of some cool some cool makers out there and these are just some of the ones that i love and have worked with if you have any questions comments concerns please leave them down below uh if you like this video like i said give it a big thumbs up if you hated it give it a thumbs down that's awesome too and i will see y'all guys and girls on the next one peace